Hi, so today I got some like tech news stuff to talk about, specifically about Apple, so this is gonna be good. I'm not the girl that I used to be sometime. I'm more the worst. I'm what I once was. I just realized that that whole sequence was shot manual focus, so if, if that time lapse is out of focus, I'm sorry but I don't want to sit there for six minutes and do it all over again. <laughs> Not... Uh, just a second. Let me wait for the wind to die down. All right, so um, I needed... To, sorry about that, I needed to uh, charge my camera's battery because it was dying, so I decided to charge it while I ate lunch, and now I'm back here. So, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Epic Games, the studio that develops Fortnite, recently launched an antitrust lawsuit against Apple. Now, Apple's been in a lot of antitrust hot water recently for a lot of their business practices regarding the App Store, but this one specifically is pretty interesting. So here's basically the timeline of what went down. So first, Fortnite got themselves kicked off of the App Store and then immediately launched their antitrust lawsuit. It's like they, they had this whole thing planned. They were going to get kicked off the App Store on purpose and then immediately launch this antitrust lawsuit against Apple. And the big issue, what they're protesting, is Apple refuses to let anyone use any payment processing system other than their own. And their own, the Apple payment processing system for apps, takes a 30% cut of any transaction, which is quite a bit bigger than any other payment processor that most app developers would use instead of Apple's payment processor. <laughs> so you can see why this might be an issue, right? The App Store is the only way to get your apps onto an Apple device, legally anyway. And so Apple can basically do whatever they want, and it's kind of monopolistic. And it's been that way for quite a while. So Epic Games, what they did was they added a feature in Fortnite that would let you pay directly to them instead of through Apple's payment processor, <laughs> and that's what got them kicked off. But the, the catch was their, their prices, if you were paying them directly, were lower than the prices you paid if you were paying through Apple's payment processor, which, and the idea behind that was to send a message to consumers that things cost more because we are required to use Apple's payment processor. <laughs> you, they, they, all, they had this all planned. This is a very deliberate thing by Fortnite, or not Fortnite, Epic Games, the creators of Fortnite. And so basically what Epic is trying to do is they're trying to rally their fan base to help them fight Apple. Now, this situation is a little funny and kind of sticky because, first of all, a majority of the Fortnite fan base are children, right? They're, they're recruiting children to help their fight against Apple. They're, they're like propagandizing them, basically. They're telling them, you know, they're telling them what to think and how that they, you know, I mean, I agree with them, but I still think it's kind of eh, that they're recruiting children to help them. Second thing is, Epic's, Epic's hands are not clean in this scenario, right? They're, <laughs> they're, they're not, you know, the, they have issues with antitrust kind of things too. They've, they like to push game developers to be exclusive with their game store, which, I mean, to their, to their credit, their game store is not the only 
only game store for PCs, so I guess that's okay, but still, it's kind of funny that all this is coming from Epic Games, which is another big conglomerate that, that could probably afford the 30% cut. The prob the the real people that are uh, suffering from this 30% cut are smaller companies like Floatplane, which is a video video platform by the same by made by uh, Linus Media Group of the YouTube channel Linus Tech Tips. They decided to start their own platform where um, viewers will pay creators directly for their content and they can't afford the 30% cut because first of all every payment every time that floatplane gets paid some of that is for the creators gets directly paid to the creators and second they're a small company so they need every bit of revenue they can they have to afford to to afford to serve the customer's video, right? They need to pay for server, spa server space and internet connections and all the other thing and their staff. And so it's small companies like that that are really hurting, but it's not small companies like that that are leading the charge against Apple in this whole antitrust 30% uh, cut thing. <laughs> so it's it's funny. It's interesting. It's kind of a mess. Now, what I hope is that um Apple but I what I hope is that Apple will decide to allow companies to use alternative payment processors and not have to take the 30% cut because there are so many companies that have to like basically destroy their iOS app because they can't get it approved without unless they take out every single reference to payment outside of the app and they can't afford to use the in-app payment processing so it's it's a whole mess and it's weird yeah so, those are a few of my thoughts. I'm going to leave a link to a link up here to a video or a, a clip from a podcast by Linus Media Group where they talk about this a little bit more and the, you know, the, the Fortnite thing and the 30% uh, the cut and all that. And their thoughts are, prob are quite a bit similar to what I'm thinking about this. I just... <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. We live in an we live in an era where there are a lot of very large tech companies and not a lot of precedent for what happens when a company gets so large it could be a tech company gets large enough to be considered a monopoly. Like we in the US have a history of breaking up other monopolies. Right? Like, oil, there was, I forget what it was called, but there was that one oil company that was, like, humongous monopoly, and it got broken up into all sorts of little pieces. But we haven't really done that to any tech companies yet. There haven't been any tech companies that we've decided to consider monopolies and either force them to change their ways or break them up. The last time any sort of antitrust thing happened in tech was, uh, I think it was U.S. government versus, United States versus Microsoft, when they were giving them trouble for bundling a browser <laughs> with their operating system, which seems trivial and very long ago. But since then, I mean, Apple bundles a browser with their system. Apple has, I mean, on the iPhone at least, Apple has only one app store that you have to get everything else through. They have a lot of 
Apple, I mean, as much as I love their products and their operating systems, they do have a lot of things that are quite um, anti-competitive, kind of, when it comes to their, like, closed platform thing. And that can be kind of troubling. So, yeah, this is... hope any of that made sense. This has been kind of a long, rambly <laughs> kind of video here. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.